see this question many students think that it's a very very difficult question because the question is lengthy you will feel that it's a very difficult question because the question is lengthy but it is actually a very easy question first let us read the question the question is a watch dealer incurs an expense of 50 150 rupees for producing every watch that means suppose assume that i am a person who is producing each and every watch i am a person who is producing each and every watch for every watch i will pay i will pay 150 rupees from my pocket that means it's an expense for me cost price for me for every one watch i will pay 150 rupees for as an expense from my pocket that is the first statement second statement is he also incurs an additional expenditure of 30,000 rupees which is independent of the number of watches produced that means how many ever watch let me produce I don't have anything in my mind that I should pro produce 100 watches 150 watches like that at least at this point of a time I don't have anything in my mind that I should produce only this many number of watches any number of watches let me produce I will definitely incur this additional expenditure of 30,000 that means this is also going out from my pocket 30,000 is also going out from my pocket that is the second statement for one watch it is 150 rupees for num the total number of watches let us see next statement now read the next statement if he is able to sell a watch during the season that means there is some particular season where he needs to sell a watch. During the season, if he is selling a watch, he sells it for 250 rupees. If he is selling a watch during a particular season, he is selling at 250 rupees per watch. If he fails to do so, if he does not sell a watch during a season, he has to sell each watch for 100 rupees. He will sell each watch for 100 rupees. If he produces, 1500 watches totally i am producing 1500 watches then my question is what is the number of watches that he must sell during the season in order to break even given that he is able to sell all the watches he has produced that means what is the number of watches he must sell during the season during the season how many watches he is selling during the season, how many watches is he selling is the question. In order to break even, in order to break even means how much ever money I am investing, the same money I am getting back. That means I am not getting any profit, I am not having any loss. So given that, he is able to sell all the watches produced. Now see here sir, let us understand once again. It is given in the question that for one watch my, I am investing 150 rupees it is also given that totally I am producing 1500 watches so 150 into 1500 is going out from my pocket that is the cost price it is also given additional expenditure for me is 30,000 rupees plus 30,000 is additional expenditure so total cost price is 50, 150 into 1500 plus 30,000 it is 2,55,000. I totally invested 2,55,000 for my business. I totally invested 2,55,000. Now, they are saying that during the season, if he is selling, he will sell at 250. Without the season, if he is selling, he will sell at 100. But total 1,500, whatever he produced, he will sell all the watches that he produced. Your question is, what is the number of watches that must he must sell during the season in order to break even? In order to break even means no profit, no loss. That means, can I say that question is find the number of watches sold during the season. If the question is find the number of watches sold during the season, your answer option also must represent the number of watches sold during the season. That means, I will solve by my answer options. Can I assume that? First option, during season I sold 500, I am assuming 500, I sold 500 during season, out of total 1500, 500 is sold during season, non during season, NDS, remaining 1000 are sold, can I say that, during season if I sell, it is 250 per watch, during non season if I sell, it is 100 per watch, so 250 into 500 is 125,000, 
similarly 100 into 1000 is it is 1 lakh so total cost price is 2.55 lakhs but total selling price i only got it as 2.25 lakhs that means i am having a loss here it is not a break even condition so first option cannot be the right answer first cannot be the right answer assume that second option is right answer that means during season i am selling 700 watches for every watch i will charge 250 rupees 700 into 250 is 175000 so 700 are sold during season out of 1500 remaining 800 is nothing but non during season every watch is 100 it is nothing but 80000 can i say that it is nothing but 1.75 plus 80000 is 2.55 lakhs that means that my cost price is 2.55 lakhs. I got back the same amount of 2.55 lakhs. That means I attained the state called as break even condition. No profit, no loss. Because it is satisfying the condition for second option. My second option is the correct answer. Answer for this question is 700. And believe me, you will definitely not take this much of time. The time which I took to explain, you will save so, so much time in solving by answer options. I took a lot of time only for making you people understand. I hope the idea is very, very clear for you people. These all the questions will look difficult, sir. But do not assume that they are difficult. If you assume they are difficult, you are definitely making sure that you are losing that easy question. It is not a difficulty question. It's a very, very easy question. Unfortunately, you are assuming it difficult and probably you are wasting it and you are probably losing a very easy question. I hope the idea is very, very clear for you people. Sir. So many questions can be solved so beautifully, very, very easily. sir. I hope the idea is very, very clear for you people.